What's the crack lads and welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day so far and as we get into this AC Milan epic pack, let me know if you guys would like to see a pack opening on this because I will I will be honest lads, these three players do intrigue me, right? Some of the epics that they've released in the legends, I've had them or else, you know, they haven't really you're not going to be changing the dial for me too much. But I do like Rijkaard, Van Basten and Hullet. I like the look of them. I like the options that they give me on the pitch. And I do think that they could be nice to play with. But we are going to do a quick review. There's a couple of surprise uh, stats in here that I think could be a bit of a problem. Um, but I do like the fact that Hullet can play every position through the middle. It just makes him, you know, train him up very, very interesting. Uh, he's got insane stats, lads. Absolutely incredible stats. Uh, when we do start with Hullet, we will get through them all. You know, those base stats, man, are just ridiculous. He is a classic number 10. He goes to 33 levels, which is quite, uh, you know, it's quite a lot. The team play style proficiency, obviously, as well, is going to mean he slots in anywhere. Um, long range shooting, rising shot, but he's also got dribbling stats as well, or passing stats as well. One touch pass, true passing, which is brilliant for an AMF. There, you know, you do need one touch pass. If you're playing an AMF and you're looking to get up to Division 3, at least even Division 3, 4, you know, 2, 1, whatever, um, you definitely need one touch pass, no matter what your play style is, trust me. Uh, so that will be something that we don't need to train up as much, uh, in my personal opinion. We can just keep it as it is. Now, there are a couple of ways to train him up, but I think this is potentially the best. We are over on eFootball DB. 96 overall now there's two ways that you can train him right depending on your play style i've given him eight into passing shooting then 10 into dribbling nine into dexterity five into lower body and one into aerial strength you can put that into you know your play style proficiency if you want to get the ultimate boost and uh you know have somebody in your squad that is kind of lower than that if you've trained him up with the wrong play style before or whatever right so we'll just keep that there for now uh into the stats right if you don't shoot a lot, I've said this with Messi as well, if you're not playing Messi as a shooter, like if you don't shoot long range shots, curl shots, finesse shots, you know, little dribble and then get it out from his body and pop, then I don't think you should be playing the likes of Messi or the likes of Dybala, and I don't think that you should train up the players in that way, right? I think it is a disservice to the likes of Messi and them and Neymar not to be shooting with him on site with long range shots because it is very overpowered. But I think for somebody like Hullet, who you can train in multiple ways, I don't think you need to have his curl up to 86 and you definitely don't need to have it uh, past 80 if you don't shoot a lot. Now, if you shoot a lot, you will want to train that up. That's the, that's the way I would train him for the overall complete all rounder, right? Um, 8, 8, 10, 9, 5, right? But if you aren't a shooter, if you don't play a lot of shots, uh, you know, if you try walk the ball in and you pass the ball and, you know, um, score a lot of tap-ins or score a lot of free kicks and you've already got a good free kick taker and you want Hullet just to be your kind of orchestrator in the middle of the classic 10 spot, right? You can actually get rid of shooting completely, uh, in my opinion, right? Passing, because he's got the skills of passing, you don't need to focus too much on the passing. I would upgrade one more on his dribbling with this and then I would pump in the rest onto 90 acceleration, right? You are going to get 90 ball control, 90 acceleration, but the key for me here is more going to be the 82 stamina that you have with the lower body strength and also the 79 balance, right? Because Hullet is such a big player, if you are playing him as an AMF, you need to have that balance pretty locked down. Now, we could go even more uh, on that if we want to top, but I think with just the way that the stats fall, we're not going to be able to get another slot into that unless we take two from lower body strength, which we could do. We still have 80 stamina and 78 speed, and we could pop one more in to get our 80 balance, 87 offensive awareness, and then the acceleration at 91. I think that's a very unique Hullet if you don't shoot a lot with players. I think that's a very unique Hullet that you could get with the player skills he has, you know, the, the, the height of him. Uh, you don't need to worry too much about his physical stuff. His balance is up 13. The balance is a big one with this card. Trust me on that, lads. And it is the same with Van Basten, right? Now, Van Basten, I know, is going to be a very polarizing player. And do you know why I know it without even looking at him? He has one touch pass, which is brilliant. He is a goal poacher, but he plays more like Burkamp, kind of like a deep line, uh, you know, center forward. First time shot, chip shot control, long range shooting, rising shot, acrobatic finishing. Scissors feint, cut behind and turn. He's got the whole works, lads. Everything that you could need in the center forward. 
except he's got 61 balance and 69 acceleration and that's why i know he's going to be very polarizing because trust me i know for a fact that with the way that they've balanced these players and from what i know about players van basten is going to feel extremely clunky right he's going to feel extremely clunky clunky the same way as Haaland feels clunky right when eFootball 22 launched the big players like Haaland and stuff they weren't really penalized they could dribble as as good as you know um romario or players like that if you trained them up and you absolutely maxed out their dexterity whereas i think they've changed it now a little bit uh, over the last couple of months in fact they've changed it a lot that you know the likes of van basten is going to struggle to get the ball out from his feet and be you know dribbling 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 so to speak so this is where we've leveled van basten up and you'll see that we've given 10 into dribbling um we've only given six to shoot nine into dexterity and then four and three right but there is a couple of different ways to train him as well i think having his offensive awareness and that balance up into the 70 you need to have that finishing you're not going to be worrying about the finishing too much if you can't finish with a 90 rated striker then you're like me you just need to get more clinical i'm not like i've been terrible in front of goal at the moment lads i'm so poor in front of goal at the moment i just need to like start scoring more goals i'm missing so many chances but if you are like me you will be able to finish no matter what if you've got a player that's 85 finishing and you're a good finisher you will you know finish shots better than a 95 uh rated striker you know that's that's average at the game right it all comes down to skill level and there's a couple of stats that you can override with your own skill level you know and that is like passing which you don't need any passing on this card all you're going to be using van basten for lads is pretty much a wrecking ball right he's a big tall center forward but when you boost up that dribble into 10 you're going to get 90 ball control so when the ball sticks to his foot it sticks to his foot kicking power is fine speed and acceleration we're not going to worry too much about that we're going to play him as we have with Lewandowski um that's similar to how we'd play him or Cristiano Ronaldo right that's how you're going to be playing him you're not going to be dribble 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 you're going to be you know pass and go you're going to be swinging the ball in for corners you're going to be getting on the end of free kicks and corners and you know trying to get into the box the minute you get a sight of goal it's just you know press shoot and score and um, that's basically how you're going to have to use Van Basten but I think he is the weakest of the legends in this one um i do think he's a good player but i think that there's so many better center forwards with the way that the game plays man romario michael Owen, any of those guys the small short short versatile fast wingers uh or strikers that play in that that role in bape liao any of those um are going to outperform these big bulky center forwards overall and consistently more now last but not least we have Rijkaard now there's a couple of ways to train up Rijkaard depending on your play style this guy is an absolute monster look at his stats man they're ridiculous they're way too good in my opinion I think this could be a broken card genuinely right first of all we have got Rijkaard who goes to 35 levels which is huge because he starts as an 85 DMF he has got unwavering form the three of these boys all have unwavering form he's got blocker and interception sliding tackle and fighting spirit as well as man marking he can play center back dmf cmf i think this guy could be one of the best center backs in the game man if you train him up as a center back he is going to be absolutely incredible absolutely incredible he doesn't have heading as a player skill i think that's the only thing that stops him from being op because you do need to train up his aerial strength a bit but he's got everything that you could possibly want weighted pass one touch pass blocker interception unwavering form stuck on b rating obviously which is going to be unreal and yeah i think he's one of the best epics on paper that they've released in a long long time right so when we do look at his actual abilities here and his progression of what he can train up to we've got this as his base right so we put two into passing to bring his passing up to 80 low pass if you are using if you are using a dmf right i would probably cap it at this i would probably cap it at this and i would either put um if you are using a dmf right you also need to be able to pass i would probably boost up the rest into passing that's kind of where i'd go with it and then maybe one into dribbling or maybe i'd even mix it with dribbling i'd probably maybe take two from defense and then probably put maybe four into dribbling to get that to 80 type possession passing at 86 and then i could put one in here and one in here right that means you're going to have a very well all-rounded dmf that's going to be just an absolute nightmare to get past right but i'm going to flip the script here a little bit lads right i'm going to flip it up a little bit and we're going to train Rijkaard up who i think could be like declan rice with the free pack that you can get declan rice 
I think Declan Rice is one of the best CBs in the game, and I think that Rijkaard could be as well. So we're just going to do very basic kind of base for him first, and we're going to get this up a little bit, right? So we're going to get that up to, to 80 ball control. It just takes two. We're going to get low pass up to 80, even though we're going to be playing him as a center back. We're also going to get this up to 78. We're also going to get this up to 78, and then um, our speed up to 82. And then we're also going to put four into this, and then we're going to pump 15 into defense, right? Look at the defensive stats, right? Absolutely insane. 80 physical contact, 87 stamina, 82 speed, 80 ball control, 80 low pass, 87 defensive awareness, 93 tackle, 91 aggression, and 92 defensive engagement. Like, what a card, man. If you're playing him as a center back, that is going to be one of the best center backs in the game. He looks like a, an even better, more versatile version of Van Dyke. I know he doesn't have the defensive awareness of Van Dyke. But trust me, I don't think you need anything more than that, lads. Genuinely, I don't think you need anything more than that for him, right? Even if you were to take one or two away from the defense stats and you want to play him, you know, as more kind of a, uh, kind of a ball playing uh, player that you want to pump more into passing. I mean, you could take two off and still leave it at, you know, 86 defensive aware awareness and you can pump up his passing a little bit. But honestly, lads, I think he's just going to be an absolute monster at that. That's just my personal opinion on him. But yeah, let me know, lads, what you think of the Legends this week. And uh, yeah, that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you later and hope you enjoy the video. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.